The Thirty-Fifth Lesson The Fire Lily had been sleeping for an hour or two when something disturbed her sleep. She coughed and opened her eyes. The room was dark and there was a strange noise somewhere. Something was hissing and cracking outside the door and it was hard to breathe. The room was full of smoke. Lily was just going to put on her shoes and run to the door when a shrill whistle came from outside. It was not a whistle of greeting. It was Jimmy's double whistle of alarm and it meant trouble. Lily ran to the window and raised it. It was broad daylight outside. The girl looked down. The sight took her breath away. There was a big crowd of people standing below, looking up at the house and shouting. In front of the crowd stood her father and Mr. Dale. Jimmy and Sam were running about, shouting and waving their hands. What's wrong? Lily cried, rubbing her eyes and coughing. Mr. Christine waved his hand to the crowd and all the people stopped shouting at once. Lily, listen to what I'm going to tell you. I've made a bet with Mr. Dale that you can creep out of the window and climb down to the ground in less than three minutes. Can you? The doctor tried to keep his voice steady, but it shook. Oh, Daddy, the girl gasped. But you've just scolded me for... But I should like to do it if you did not get angry with me again. Don't lose time then, dear. I shan't be angry. There's a big box of chocolate waiting for you. Lose no time, he cried back to Lily in a firm voice, trying to smile. Yes, I'm coming, the girl shouted. Take off your shoes, hurry, Mr. Christine cried, taking out his watch as if he were going to watch the time. Swift as a monkey, the girl slipped through the window feet first. The crowd held its breath. Maybe we have time to bring mattresses, Mr. Dale whispered to the doctor. No, we haven't. The wind may change any minute, and besides, she may see you with the mattresses and get frightened, the doctor answered. Oh, God, Mrs. Dale sighed. The cornice must be as slippery as soap. It's still raining. Be quiet, her husband whispered, nodding at the wretched face of Mr. Christine. To be continued.